The second international conference on applied earth science in Myanmar and naval regions took place in Yangon Sunday. The Myanmar Applied Earth Science Association organized the international conference in partnership with Ministries of Natural Resources and Environmental Conservation, Federations of Myanmar Engineering Societies, Yangon University, Yangon Technological University, and Department of Meteorology and Hydrology, Myanmar. The international conference focused on sustainable development of mineral resources of the country and how the mining, gems and geoengineering could help to achieve sustainable progress in explorations of Myanmar's rich mineral resources. The Lungeri Durine, Nangandaka, Pina Shinine, Bubon Biro, Duruye, Tutitana. The conference is aimed to build capacity among the next generation of applied earth scientists in Myanmar and to cooperate in making research with international partners. Today I will share the information on mineral exploration. It is a very important issue that I research about how the matter happens and how it can support mental exploration and sustainable mineral development. Many experts from other countries, business leaders and professionals working in geotechnical engineering, gemology, mining and geology fee join the event. Our association is organized with international experts, including Myanmar, to promote knowledge on earth sciences to the next generation. Today, I will share the information of climate change, including earthquakes and flooding in Myanmar. The government also needs to support more for handling the climate change issues as it could affect on the nation's economy. I'm conducting a workshop related with testing ground for construction. Currently, the waste from construction are needed to keep systematically in our country, as the chemical substances could impact on the people's health. Around 250 local and foreign guests, including local and foreign experts, attended the conference and related workshops that last three days. 